Everyone, welcome back to another more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with the Rumour Hazard video where we're talking about players linked to the football club this coming transfer window. And we are talking about a former Premier League midfielder in this one and a Spanish international as well. So we'll get stuck right into this lad in a minute just before we do. A little reminder, if you haven't already smashed subscribe, I'd love you to come and join us. We're so close to 7,000 subs. We can taste it. We can smell it. So why not get us there? Smash that button. If you haven't already, do that or recommend us to family and friends. If you have done it already, it'll help get us there. We are still quite young in terms of the whole world of YouTube podcasting and everything else, but we're so privileged and and happy to be so close to this massive milestone, but you can help get us over that line. It'll be absolutely brilliant. It's all free content and ever more. If you want to jump on and listen to obviously the Cassidy stuff in the main, but the odd rant as well about other stuff that I often do when things flick my switch, smash that button, come and join us. If you want to be a member, there's an option down there too for you. Click whichever one suits you best. So who am I talking about today? Well, I'm talking about a former uh, Premier League midfielder and he uh, he obviously played for uh, for some of the biggest clubs in world football in all fairness and he has been linked to Newcastle United so we're going to get stuck right into this lad right now who am I talking about it's this lad here and that is uh, Danny Sebelios who was playing for Arsenal once by the time as you can see there 2019 to 2021 um, a good player very good player uh, obviously Real Madrid player uh, he was on loan I believe it was as you can see he signed for uh, Real Madrid in 2017 He's, uh, he's been off on a, on a loan spell at Arsenal. And in that time in the Premier League, in 77 appearances, he got two goals and five assists. Obviously, for Real Madrid, you can see he's had 138 appearances, seven goals and 11 assists. Uh, so he's one of them players that Real Madrid signed. You know, he signed him from, from obviously, a, um, a Real Betis there, where he had 105 appearances, seven goals and seven assists. They do that quite a lot, Real Madrid. They sign the best of the rest in terms of, you know, Sociedad, Betis, um, Valencia. You know, the, you know these kind of players, Tenerife, you know, um, Getafe, all these other teams that have a like a gem that comes up through the ranks. They go, oh, we'll have a bit of him, Nick, and then they, they take him. That's just what the big clubs do in in different countries. You know, happens in you know Scotland as well, Rangers and Celtic. So Danny Sabellas obviously went to Real Madrid. Didn't really quite work out from way too many stars in the sky, so to speak. But the lad is a decent footballer. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. We're going to look at his stats here and kind of key. Key detail, as you can see, there's a lot of greens, a hell of a lot of greens in there. You know, in his pass completion, he's up in the 95. His pass, sorry, he's in the 95 percentile. His pass completion is 89th percentile. Progressive passing, 97th percentile. Key passing, 78. Shot creation chances in the high 90s. Goal creation chances in the 90s. Assists, 99th percentile, which is fantastic. His XA is up in the 90s. Shots are in the 60s. Shots on targets up in the 90s. You know, in terms of his tackling, he's not really a tough tackling midfielder, but he does get himself about, you know, blocks and, and, and interceptions there. But he's not got bad stats for a midfielder. You know, in terms of where he's plied his trade, really, in terms of, of a positional sense. So he's more of a centre midfielder, attacking midfielder. He can play on the right side of, of a midfield as well. And that, that puts me in the mind of 27 years old. Um, is he a better player than maybe what Sean Longstaff is? And I suppose when you look at different aspects of his game, you probably have to say he is. Mark's competitive Bruno in the radar grid there. You see in terms of his, you know, his, his passing, his pass completion, he's, he's got better stats than Bruno even as well. But I think the way that the season has probably gone for the likes of Sean and Joe Willick, you know, the club might be looking for upgrades on those players. Um, you can see his transfer market value is incredibly low. His contract expires in, in 2027. I don't think Real Madrid will sell him for 6 million, but you might get him for maybe 10, 11, 12. So you're not going to be breaking the bank for this player. Um, and what would he bring to Newcastle United? You know, he's a player, he's very good on the ball. He's got great close control touch, doesn't panic. He's very calm in the moment. You know, he can find, you know, lovely through passes kind of through the eye of the needle. Um, you know, he gets himself into the box. He's he's not, he's not um you know, panicking when he's in there and stuff like that. He's played alongside some fantastic players in terms of uh, Vinicius and guys like that and set up assists for them. You know, so the lad can play. There's no doubt about it at all. And like I say, he probably would just give you a little bit more experience, certainly in European football and in maybe bigger games, you know, than maybe the likes of Sean and, and, and Joe Willick at the minute who aren't really stepping up and, and, and doing anything like that at all. Atletico Madrid are, are also linked to him as well. But I think the, the, the rumour goes... Just looking at the story here, the rumour goes that Newcastle have been keeping tabs on him for some time. Now, whether that was a Dan Ashworth target or whether it was a Steve Nixon target, I'm not too sure. But but again, we don't know what's going to happen with Bruno uh, come the end of the season either. We've got Tonali to come back into this squad. So there's a real good chance that maybe Sabayas could could be a, a, you know, a really achievable target. You know, you sell 
Maybe the likes of Joe Willock, he said, likes of Sean Longstaff, you get money in for those players. And maybe this lad can give you something better. I think Joe Willock has maybe a bit more to offer currently than what Sean's offering. That's not me saying get rid of Sean Longstaff, it's just facts. You know, we've got Elliot Anderson, we've got Louis Miley, who have really kicked into the in the gear through the ranks. You know, Louis Miley's looked sensational in his breakthrough season. Anderson's come back from injury looking hungrier than ever. You know, we've got the issue with Joe Litton's contract and obviously Bruno's future as well. So so going after a 27-year-old, 13-cap Spanish at National who's played for Real Madrid that you can get for under maybe 15 million quid is probably good business by the club. So let us know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think about Sabayas? Do you think he's a decent target? Would you have him? Or do you think, no, we should be looking for better players or maybe just put more trust in the youth, the likes of Miley Anderson and Joe White next season? You know, but if we do lose Bruno and Joe, you've got to say that's that's a big blow for Newcastle. Hopefully we won't lose both of them or any of them. But I think Sabayas could be a good addition to the squad. But we always like to hear from you. Smash a comment in, guys. As I mentioned at the start, if you haven't already, subscribe. Help get us to 7,000. Like the video. Help the channel grow. We'll be back with Rumour Hazard videos soon because there's loads of them racking up to the summer. And if they do change these rules in the Premier League where the luxury tax is implemented rather than fines and deductions, then, wow, we could be linked to every player in the world, uh, which will keep me and Mark busy. So keep it evermore, guys. We'll catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.